nature of reading may in fact mean no more books, but characters who join you in your living room. In a world first, the 3D technology behind all this has been unveiled in Christchurch. Here's Natasha Utting with some augmented reality. Jimmy Jones was a giant. He lived in the mountains and slept in a valley for his bed. Meet giant Jimmy Jones, a real storybook which comes alive in 3D. It's been created with breakthrough technology called augmented reality, and this is how it works. We have a, a headset visor here, um, which has a camera on the front. The camera is filming a view of the real world, sending that image back to the computer for processing. Um, the computer analyzes that, to figures out where the real world is and how to put the 3D objects onto it, and then sends the result back to the, um, to the little headset display here. The book began as these paintings by children's illustrator and writer Gavin Bishop. My eyes were right at the cutting edge of, of three-dimensional animation, you know. This was supposedly the first animated three-dimensional picture book ever made in the world, and I just wanted to be part of it. This is called augmented, not virtual reality, because it takes your real world and inserts virtual objects into it. The book was funded by Creative New Zealand, and you can see it at the Christchurch Library, where they say it enhances the traditional book experience. To make, make children feel excited about words and pictures by being able to interact with them in a, in a different sort of way. I just see it. It's good. just like it. This technology is not perfect yet, but the next book in the making will be more advanced, maybe even giving kids the choice of parallel storylines. In fact, the potential of this technology will undoubtedly extend well beyond books, meaning one day we might not just watch films, but enter them. You won't be able to touch anything, because they don't exist, and they won't be able to hurt you, but as I understand it, it seems that in the future you could watch something like Lord of the Rings and actually journey with Frodo and, and uh, you know, into, the, into Mordor. The book only has eight pages, but it took over nine months to make, so the future that Gavin is talking about is still some time away. Natasha Ratting, 3 News.